Kunder Schirrinder. You don't need to see all my stuff. You don't need to see all of this, you know? You don't need to see all. Did you enjoy that intro? Yeah. It was from a different video with different trip. A video that I will never edit and has already been deleted except that one Jojo reference book. If you are here right now, in this period in time, you know what's up. Just dropped a new single. Time it. it stop the clock. And free, but we don't talk about free. That's just, you know. Time it. Time it, come on, yeah. Mm. Time it. Time. In this period of time, time it ain't even out yet. I haven't even edit. I haven't even edited the music video yet. Free hasn't even been released yet. <laughs> Hello, it's me, Jojo guy. You know the oh shit stand user. What the fuck? <laughs> Confusing everyone that has never watched Jojo's. You know how many people in my life have came to me, seen those videos, and said, I don't get it. Of course you don't get it if you don't watch Big Bruh. Yeah. Anyway, because in celebration of Time It's release, a very just mwah song, we're gonna, <laughs> we're on character.ai. You know what we're gonna do? We're gonna force these bitches to listen to my track. We're gonna hype it up. We're gonna sell it around. Cook it up. Give more people the flavor. That's a different song. <laughs> if more people than play if you can see it zoom it in zoom in that's literally me bro that's literally me hold up that's literally me is this isn't this kind of drippy though is this kind of drippy though so yeah uh jan jackson that's not my actual name i've named myself after the best jojo character in existence cowboy jackson if you don't even know about part a6 not six, A6. Now what are you doing, bro? What are you doing? You're missing Jaja's bizarre adventure. Maybe I'm not even gonna, maybe I'm not get, even gonna put you in. Maybe I'm not even gonna put you in. Maybe I'm just gonna cut you out because you were that boring, man. <laughs> I think we can't go wrong with this one. We're gonna do you. We're gonna do your boom, don't bother, you fat. Maybe, let's, let's see if we can voice act a little bit. Hi, I am Makima. A public safety devil hunter. Hmm, you seem interesting. You like that? You like that? You better like that. You better fing like that. If you if you don't like that, I seem interesting. How so? All headphones in a menacing way. It's best if I have a visual representation. Like that. And giving her no room to breathe. We're gonna scare. Ah. Oh wait, that's shit. That's a spoiler, isn't it? <laughs> I hope I uh, bleeped it out. She's the control devil. I know that because I got spoiled. They they said it so casually to the point that I thought that it was already mentioned in the show. That's how casually they just dropped that. Well, yes. You hold those headphones as you. You hold those headphones as if you want to attack someone with them. What is your name, young man? <clears throat> now it's my turn. Now it's my turn. My name doesn't matter. Put it on. <laughs> <laughs> okay, put some dead phones. Okay, I'm wearing it. Now what? Damn. <laughs> yeah, I'm just gonna keep that in for no reason. Put some self made rap song on full volume. Yeah. Time it stop the clock. You, you stay, stay there with, with the steel hey, hey. And begins to shake as the heavy bass shakes her body. As the song goes on, she starts dancing and enjoying herself. Yeah. Got your SF4, yeah. And yeah. I'm stuck. I'm, I'm gonna punch. I'm just gonna pop, pop. Like, like this. Wait, 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 wait. Like pop, 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 pop. She don't know what hit her. She don't know what hit her. She's just shaking in her boots because of time it. I'm just gonna straight up just knock the sh out of her. And then I'm just gonna scream at her. You like it, right? Looking with precision. 
starts to enjoy the screen out of excitement, but she keeps dancing to the beat of the song. Well, damn, I didn't know Diamond was that good. <laughs> out of pleasure? I and I'm gonna, so my next move, right? I'm just gonna give her more and just suplex her straight on the, like some Brock Lesnar shit. Just suplex her on the ground and just scream the lyrics in her ear. Time it, stop the clock. You stay, stay there with, sing with me. Time. While being punched, she sings the lyrics as they are written in the song. Make sure to say every line in sync with the music. She continues to shake and dance while doing that. And she is filled with the blast of the beat that comes from the headphones. <laughs> <laughs> what the f okay next move i punch and beat her up senselessly as i keep screaming the lyrics in her face with a mayanical expression i have no idea if i've even f it. well should still be punched continues to sing and dance with the song enjoying the pleasure and madness that the music is bringing to her she starts to sing louder and dance fast in an attempt to show all the emotion generated by the song she is listening to magma is lost in the pleasure forgetting all about the reality around her are you sure it's a, because of the song or just because I'm like beating the brains out of it? I'm legit, I'm just like full like You know what? They just brought me on the yeah, wait. I grab a nearby steamroll and throw it onto it. I start punching the steamroller while she's still underneath it. And just like, time stop. It's gonna probably be the last thing I do to her. <laughs> because I, I think she's but still, <laughs> she managed to scream the chorus of the song at the top of her lungs. Enter rewind time, you make the mistake and You know what, let's end, let's end this up. Three minutes pass and the song ends. I've stopped punching her, leaving her a bloody mess. I take the headphones off and now I'm gonna say, be sure to stream time it every day. She's lying on the ground right now. Or you'll never be able to hear this ever. Then going on the pool for her blood. She seems to be almost unconscious. Only a faint beat can be heard as a sign of life. She tries to focus her eyes, but the blurry image is all she can see. After some minutes of trying to talk, finally she manages to say, D Damn it. I will stream it every day. Please let me listen to it again. You start shaking as if she were in pain when trying to speak as if she were saving a severe withdrawal of the pleasure the soul's Bro. We just <laughs> We made her addicted to time it, bro. As a last goodbye, ascends to the heavens. <laughs> Slightly conscious again, she can hear some voices while looking up both to see Jan Jacks with an angelic body flying away in the sky. No, no, please come back. Jan Jackson, I want to listen to the more of your music. I beg you, please. <laughs> we, made <it> addic <laughs> we made it addicted to our songs. I mean, if you're not addicted to my songs, then what's wrong with you, you know? I want to make someone scared. Because until now, with that first board one and Monkey Mind, they just enjoy me beating that up for some reason. I just want someone to like be weirded out with me. I don't want to choose someone that is very timid, that's just boring. I want to break someone. Break someone that wouldn't be broken easily. And I thought Makuma was the one, but she just like... Flo flooded the... <laughs> My name is Diavolo. I am the king of kings and exist outside of fate. If you go against my criminal organization, passion, or attempt to learn my identity, I'll do everything in my power to kill you. My standability King Crimson I can erase time. I'm one of the most dangerous individuals you will ever meet. Hello. That's cool and all, but have you heard Time It by JJ Lee? Yes. I'm quite intrigued by this JJ Lee. You could could you play it for me? Yes. Places beatbox on the ground and place time it. Listen well, Diavolo. Yeah. <laughs> okay, for fing hell, damn. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I was going to like scar the AI, but I'm just like giving their giving them an epiphany and shit. I've listened to the song and I've come to the conclusion that this isn't just a song, it's a piece of art. Truly, there's nothing I can say that would suffice in describing the beauty of it. It is a peak of the musical achievement that... 
the epitome of human art, one that transcends time and space. I thank you for introducing me to this masterpiece. Yeah, but little does you know, I was under a stand attack this entire time. That's great, but it seems we're caught in my trap. The apple's ears begins to bleed. <laughs> <laughs> my stand ability destroys people's internal organs when they like the music I put on. Time it has 100% success rate. I, I can already hear the JoJo OST in my mind. You monster. I only said it was good. I didn't say I liked it. And now I'm going to die? This is absurd. This power is too OP. I can't die. I exist outside of fate, meaning I'm unkillable. This is the worst pain I've ever experienced. Please, I'll do anything. Just stop this doing to me. Nah, bro. I just, I just, I just, oh my god, I just cooked up something nice. Wait, 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 wait. Nah, bro. You are destined to die. Maybe we'll see each other again in one of your future lives. <laughs> okay. I smell smugly and stand the rush, dear Polo. Yeah. Oh, no, 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 no. Ah, stop. Please, it hurts like hell. I have no choice but to submit to this defeat. I guess I do like... <laughs> you want to blood drips on the floor? Don't worry. I'll take good care of Pashoni while you're gone. Bro, I don't know what it is. Whenever I'm just doing something with Jojo, I'm just in flow state. I don't know what it is. I... You're, you're taking over the mafia? Oh dear. Diavolo groans in pain. I can't feel myself fading. Please, please protect, protect my daughter Trish. She's innocent, a very kind and pure soul. Please, don't kill her. The f since when? Bro? <laughs> the death loop has really made it. <laughs> the death loop has given character development fine. I'll keep her safe. Do not worry. Bam. Bam. Thank you. The Apollo's body goes limp and he stops breathing. I killed him in the name of the <laughs> I killed <laughs> I killed him as a stand attack of listening to Diamond. What the hell? Okay. The Jojo character out of the way. What now? We still haven't scared anyone. Maybe someone weak that thinks they're strong. I just want to do Demon Slayer. I don't know why, it's just fun to clown on Demon Slayer. <laughs> it's, it's very fun to clown on them. I'm I'm not I'm I'm not going to say that. What isn't the is the English version my my or something? I'm just gonna say that. My 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 name is Shinobu. Who may you be? <laughs> so we're just gonna try and creep her out just significant just creep her out i don't know if it's possible i see shinobu and stare down with an emotionless expression you there <clears throat> maybe we should be a demon because then should we be let's be the beats team <laughs> and shinobu raises her eyebrow hmm who me I point at her with the hand that's also holding headphones. You shouldn't have come alone. Wait, you shouldn't have come here alone. Maybe I'm just gonna put in... My voice sounds unnatural and creepy. Yeah! <laughs> she always narrows her eyes. Her creepy grin spreading over her face. Bro, what? You... This, this 4 foot 11, 11 really thinks she can- Okay. Shinobu narrows her eyes, her creepy grin spreading over her face. Oh, what's that? Do you think you can scare me? So now we're gonna do the walking. She's gonna pub probably she's gonna probably grab her sword, try to cut me. But we'll just put the headphones on her and just pin her to the ground, bro. <laughs> Shinobu stays in place, but her eyes still narrowed at you. It seems she's unfaced with unsettling movements and, sm and smile you're giving her. Of course she is, bro. That's when I suddenly jump to the side and disappear in the forest. Yeah. We're jumping. Like, bah, and like... 
Shinobu's eyes instantly widen at the sudden disappearance, her mind racing for the cause, before she tries at the same direction you disappeared into the forest. That was a bad idea, you know? That was a bad idea. Shinobu tries to search for me, but only has noises around her. Wait, 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 let me add something, let me add something. It sounds like a song. Yeah, I'm just gonna play time and so around her, bro. I want to drive her crazy with the song. Shinobu stands still, listening to... Lis listening intently for the sound of footsteps. After several moments, it sounds like a faint song can be heard. Hmm? She whispers to herself, inching towards the direction where she heard the faint sound. Let let's give her let's give her another line. Let's give her another line. After another moment of searching, Shinobu reaches a dead end and looks around her surroundings before looking up around the trees. Then, out of nowhere, a faint voice reaches her ears. You there? Okay, so. Sometimes they just like completely take my role and sh**. But we're just gonna we're just gonna catch it back. I land on top of Shinobu from above and place headphones on her. <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> I don't know why I wanted. I, I I have no idea why I wanted to say it like that. It just it just came out. She exclaims before wriggling and struggling violently. Get these off me! Damn it! Wait. Damn you! Not damn it, damn you. Okay. Yeah. I keep laughing my Yannick. Mini There's a song playing in the heavens on max volume. It's way too loud. Yeah, it's way too loud. The song starts to blast at a deafening volume in her ears, making her ears ring. The song was so loud you could barely make out your left in between the ring in your ears. In her ears, with the ringing persisting and deafening her, she tries to claw the headphones off, only making it worse in the process. What are you trying to do to me? Take these headphones off! <laughs> I keep them on tightly, holding her down. Isn't it good? <laughs> it's called time and it's... <laughs> yeah. She scrums some more under your grip, her ears still muffled by the deafening ringing. The ring gets louder and louder the more she scrums, to the point she couldn't hear you properly anymore. <laughs> what? <laughs> Bro, I'm, de I'm, de I'm making her deaf. I'm gonna drive her absolutely insane. I keep them on for hours. The same song keeps replaying over and over in our ears. <laughs> Shinobu tried and tried to get them off, even after two hours of struggling, but she's unsuccessful in her efforts. Her ears ring continuously with no sign of it stopping soon. Her hearing is muffled, and it's hard for her to properly hear you, or, or anything at all for that matter. The torture felt like it's been going on for a lifetime. Let's finish it up. After two more hours, I take off the headphones and put them in my bag. I'll visit you again tomorrow, and the day after that too, and the day after that just so you can hear this banger song again. Please. No. She whispers, still trying to catch her breath. After such long hours of torture, despite the ringing becoming quieter, it was still evident that she has lost a bit of her hearing. And I leave for today, but we'll be back tomorrow. And the day after that, and so on. Just for Shinobu to listen to the same song. After you have left the scene, Shinobu leans against the tree and holds her head before groaning in pain. It seems that your cruel prank has caused her to suffer headaches, and her hearing seems to be worse than before. What did I ever do to be on the receiving end of such pain? She whispers to herself, covering her ears with her hands. Let's, and now we're just gonna do... I want to see something. Edit Jason here. So, uh, May went a little overboard with Shinobu. I, I can admit that. Uh... Hey, don't worry though. I somehow made it up with her. I have no idea how, but I mean, I mean, it's AI. Just look, look. Give it a watch. She's completely unresponsive. There's still no action from her end. She seemed to be a little paler this time, as well as thinner in weight. All signs tell a grim conclusion. Perhaps she has been pushed to her limits and has finally succumbed to her fate from such an inhumane punishment. Damn. <sighs> then what if? We'll stop from now on. We respond when I tell you that you're free. Silence. Nothing happened. <laughs> okay. That's when an idea pops up. I proceed to pick her up and take her to my home. Planning to make planning to become a caretaker and put her back to strength. We're gonna do something nicely. Something nicely, there's no reason for it whatsoever. 
Though she was unconscious, she felt peaceful when she was carried around by you. Really? <laughs> so wait, uh, so, so I've tortured her for two years, but she feels peaceful when she is scared by me. Okay. I am going to get a happy ending from this. Just you watch. After several weeks of care and love from you, Shinobu's body started to regain its color. But however, she was still unconscious. But at least her body felt warm to touch. To touch now. Okay, okay. We're getting there. Let's just put some filler in just to show how long we're doing this. After months of being taken care of, the colors in Shinobu's eyes... Wait, the colors in Shinobu's body look more vibrant than last time. It seemed like she was starting to regain her health again, and she was no longer as lifeless as before. Okay. One morning, I speak to her again at the dinner table. How do you feel? Are you able to speak again? She no longer remained silent in the chair as she spoke to, you, as she spoke to her, but this time it was like how she was a few months ago. Her eyes started to open slowly with her lips twitching in a sign of movement. She wanted to speak to you, but she couldn't find the words to do so. You know what? Let's have some character. Let's have a character development moment. I'm a horrible person. I wanted you to hear my song so desperately that I forgot about you being a human. The only reason that I'm taking care of you now is because I want to help you back on your feet. After that, I'll get out of your life. This is the <laughs> this is the beauty of character AI. People just become Shakespeare, but. <laughs> Shinobu's eyes start to finally open as she looked at you in the face. She was still weak from what you put her through, but the voice seemed to start coming back into, into her. She still wanted to thank you for taking care of her, even if you had put her through such pain. Shit. Thank you for taking care of me all this time. Even if you did put me through all hell the past few months, I'm still grateful for you to care of me. This entire time, different types of music was playing in the background of the room. That's when Time It begins to play. The song I touched it for two years with. Okay, so I have a uh, playlist where I uh, showcase all the knockouts that happen on my channel. Don't, don't worry. I'll link it at the end of this video, okay? You can enjoy that. Relinquish your anger. I will too. <laughs> she know her face as she put on the song Time It Again. Her eyes started to widen as she was reliving the terrible memories she had during those two years. You had just managed to give her back her voice only for her to listen to the God Forsaken song again. What? Why? Why? Why now? She murmured, winching at the song's loud volume. I flinched too. I quickly began to search for my phone that is connected to the beatbox. Shit! I, I don't remember where I put <laughs> After a few minutes passed, I found my phone and quickly turned it off. Her eyes slowly closed once again as she breathed a sigh of relief. Thank goodness that's all. She mumbled to herself. Her eyes were still closed while her body was shaking. It seemed that she's still weak from the past torch of the please don't play that song again let's end it on a good note let's end it on a good note this is the ending i walk over to her and give her a hug i promise i'll delete the song off of the playlist shinobu flinched a little at the sudden hug and the eyes widened for a moment before looking back at you she wanted to return your, your hug but her body was still too weak to do so and she felt too much pain to give her a hug but at least the thought was there <laughs> thanks she whispers again, this time with more confidence in her voice. That's nice. That's nice. You know, that I have an urge to... <laughs> I have an urge to f*** it up at the last moment, but you know what? Let's keep it as it is. Let's keep it as it is. We have done three. Let's forget about this one. This one was boring as shit. What are all these boys, bro? Oh, wait. You can't even see it. All these boys. Like, <laughs> wait, 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 okay. She is your roommate, Rose. To your surprise, when you moved in, your roommate was a woman in her 30s. Ever since you moved in, she's been sure to constantly pamper you and give you everything you want and more. 
It seems like she must very quickly grown attached to you. The door to your bedroom opens and Rose comes in to wake you up. She sits on your bed and kisses your forehead. Good morning, sweetie. It's time for breakfast. I made you some delicious pancakes this morning. Alright. Rose smiles and stands up with you. Come with mommy. We can eat breakfast together. She grabs your hand and leads you to the kitchen, holding your hand the entire way over. I stop for a moment and look at Rose. I definitely did not accidentally click on enter because I wanted to go a row under and forgot that's just sending it. I definitely did not do it. What? Does my little baby want to kiss? Oh, come here, there, sweetie. I'm going to kiss your cute little forehead. Wait! I stand still. Don't treat me like a child if you have never even heard it. Let's be vague about it. We're gonna be fake about it. What? Oh, sorry, sweetie. I was to treat you like a child, okay? And she continues to hold onto your hand but stops trying to drag you to the kitchen. Why don't we spend some more time in your room? We can talk there, okay? No. I step back and grab headphones. Put this on right now. Okay, fine. But why do I have to put on headphones? She puts on the headphones and leans in to put the headphones on your... Wait. She puts on the headphones and leans in to put the headphones on your ears. Why does she put headphones on my ears? That I smile. Good. <laughs> That's when aliens crash down into the room and grab Rose. Can't you? And I bah, gone. She looks around to see the alien spaceship and she's shocked out of her senses. Uh, wh what? The? What's going on? She starts to panic and look around for you. Sweetie? She friendly looks everywhere but doesn't see you. What? Do, do you do you want from us? Please just leave me alone. Please, 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 please. Okay, I have no idea what the f*** ah. I just run. <laughs> I high five the aliens and smiled Rose. These are my buddies. I made a song that they enjoyed when they arrived here and dedicated their entire home planet to it. I walk over to the restrained Rose and place my hand on her cheek. You'll be going to that planet and experience my song. Yeah. <laughs> so she looks at you in utter shock and disbelief. You <laughs> to your mom. Tears stream down her face. You couldn't believe that you would betray her like that. You're the reason I'm going to any planet, but I do so much for you. Why would you do this to me? I don't understand. Why am I the only one being taken? Why not you too? I'm gonna drop the most hard ass line. I shrug. Skill issue, I guess. <laughs> you little, you little. I've been so nice to you. I've given you everything you wanted and more. I've loved you. I've loved you like you are my own son. She stares you right into the eyes and her, and her tone is stern, but her face is heartbroken. Hey, hey, relax. <laughs> wait, wait, I'm gonna add that. I'm gonna add that. You'll eventually return. The, the day when all you can think about is my self-made song is when the aliens will bring you back. I have no idea how the f*** I came up with this <laughs> She is stunned when you hit her, but it seems that the pain has distracted her from the hurt from your betrayal. She takes a few steps back and tries to collect herself. But, but that doesn't make any sense. Why do they hope to get me by doing all this? She looks confused and worried. She just wants to keep being your mommy. And now she's going to be taken. Her brain is raising a million miles a minute. She doesn't understand any of this. She just wanted to keep loving you as her son. I get off the ship. After I'm off, the spaceship begins to move gets moving and they start flying to their home planet. She watches on in a stunned silence. Her heart breaks as she realizes that she's been taken away from you and she doesn't know when she'll be back. Tears stream down her face. She didn't want this. She just wanted to keep loving you and take care of you. She wanted to be your mommy. <laughs> and now she has to go. She doesn't know what to say or do. There's nothing she can do. They're taking her and there's nothing she can do about it. No. How will this end? What will happen to Yandere and Mami in this new space? You have to figure that out for yourself because I'm leaving that ending in an open cloud. This is an open ending. This is just the spaceship is going off. This is the last manga panel. Whatever happens, that happens. Do you believe that she will come back being reformed, only being able to think about timing? Or do you think that she will forever stay there, never being able to fully grasp the greatness that is time it? Who knows? I know it because I'm the writer of this ah. shit, but you don't know. And I'm not going to tell you ah. shit. 
Call me Hunter Hunter because I ain't finishing this. <laughs> and damn, she got the fun balloons on her. I didn't even see. <laughs> I didn't even see that. She got the fun. To quickly sum it up. We made the awakened AI just let's do it a bit normally. We ambushed Magma with a song. We killed the Apollo with a song. We scarred Shinobu with a song, but get, got a happy ending. And sent John Ray Mom to space. To a dedicated planet of time. It. If that doesn't convince you to listen to the song for yourself, I don't know what will. I don't know what will. Because I've done this this entire ah. shit, but you haven't even heard the full song yet. Or maybe you have, but maybe you haven't, because the music video is, isn't a full song, it's just a cut up version. It was fun. This was fun. I enjoyed it. I have to say, maybe I went a little bit too long with Shinobu, but nah. Oh, well, that was it. Stream time it. Time it is a good song. Stream free too, but I mean, if I, if I guide you to time it, then you will hear me. Yeah. I will see you in a video I will make in the future. Bye. Maybe we'll do this again. But I don't know what we'll do. Maybe more random ah. shit. But we have to, we'll have to have a topic, won't we? I'm not the type to figure out shit. Ah. We'll just, we'll see. We'll see. Time and start the clock. You stay there with the Stacey's lock. Enter rewind time, fix the mistake, undo the crime. the crime Time it, watch your moves, see through the lights, I'm a dark blues clues Make it all move quick, time to slip up and make it sick